Meantime, a national initiative has been launched targeting teenage and adolescent girls. The Girls Not Mothers campaign being undertaken by the St. Lucia Planned Parenthood Association forms part of activities commemorating Adolescent Week from October 18 to 21, 2021. The initiative aims to provide teenagers with adequate resources to make responsible decisions in order to maintain low rates of teenage pregnancy in the country. Supervisor of Information and Education Patricia Modest, during an appearance on NTN's Morning Update, spoke to the importance of sexual education to youth making responsible decisions. The education has to start at the home, where mothers will start with their children about the body, the organ, you know. I tell, all we tell parents, sit with your child, give the child the information according to the child age. You start at very early about the body. Sex education is not about sex, personal hygiene, the different parts of the body. And if you start that way, the child will build a relationship with you. Will be able to sit and come to you and say, Mommy, look at that. Or you can sit and tell the child, look, now you are growing, I realize the changes, the physical changes is taking place. That's the first thing you will see. The breast growing, the boys will hear their voice changing, you know, and the boys will start have beard. You'll see the girl's hip widening. You have eyes. You can see the changes in your own child. So that's the time you have to start. And you start talking to the girls. What turns for you to know about your body. Miss Modest highlighted the health risk and consequences of engaging in early sexual activity. Early pregnant, they can get an STI, STD. Then early sexuality with early sexual activity at an early age can cause cancer of the cervix. There are a lot of complications, you know. And you see, when they, the body is not fully matured, and you see you get to sexual activities, sometimes the mindset, and, and you know, if a girl get pregnant at an early age, you know what they go for, and they can reach the wellness center, all the risk factors. But we get a lot of them coming in with infections. Ms. Mornes further explained that the Girls Not Mothers program will engage teenagers in the school and community settings and will equip participants with the requisite tools to make informed lifestyle choices. She said while the program focuses on the education and awareness of females, it is important that young males are included in the conversation.